It's not about somebody else. Well, they did this to me and they did that to me. Man, get over it. Come on, I'm talking to the church here. I'm talking to us. I feel like my life mission, my goal is to bring Christians to Christ. Really? Jesus was radical. He blessed people. He overwhelmed people everywhere he went. This girl is sitting there talking to me. She gets overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. She can't wait any longer. We're talking. She gives her life to Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. And I'm sitting there talking to her. She's like, wow. Whoa. I said, it's just like a bad dream. It's over. Sometimes we say, oh, now you've got to, you know, you've got to, you know, you've got to deal with all this stuff that you just came out of. Man, if it's that, then it's work and it's not grace. If it's grace, then God's ability to keep you is greater than the devil's ability to, to deceive you. Grace is, grace is, you're saved by grace through faith. So all of a sudden, grace saves you unmerited, undeserved favor. There's nothing you could do to earn it. You couldn't earn it. If you had to earn it, Jesus wouldn't have paid for it. He paid for something for you to have for free so that you could walk, but he didn't just pay for you to get to heaven. He paid for heaven to get into you, but not so just you could heal people. He paid for heaven, he paid for heaven to get into you to repossess that which was lost. But God wants the salvation of our soul. He wants our soul, our mind, our will, our emotions. He wants it completely sanctified, set apart for his use.